As an iPhone 16 owner myself, I quite often find myself facing low battery issues. And if you are someone like me, then don't worry because today I will be telling you the 10 most effective ways to save battery life in your iPhone 16. So let's get started with using the dark mode. Also customizing your app icons to appear dark as well. Doing this will not only make your device look sleek, but will also help you save the battery life. So to enable this setting, first go to control center, here tap and hold on the brightness slider. Now you will see the dark mode option, just tap on it. And now to customize your icons, tap and hold on the empty space at the home screen, then tap on customize, then you will see this dark option, just tap on it. And you are done. Now combine all this with the sleek dark wallpaper to maximize the effect. I have provided the link for some of my personal favorite wallpapers in the description below, so make sure you check them out. Now let's also turn off the raise to wake feature. This feature basically lights up your screen whenever you pick up your iPhone, which to be honest I personally find very distracting, plus it drains a lot of battery, so I recommend you turn it off as well. To do it, you will just have to go to settings, here in display and brightness, just toggle off raise to wake. Now for tip number 3. Just delete all the unnecessary widgets from the home screen, especially the widgets that constantly update. These live widgets will significantly impact your iPhone's battery life. So remove them by long pressing on the widget and tapping remove widget. So for our fourth tip, let's limit the background activities of app that don't require running in the background. So to do it, just head over to the settings. Here when you tap on general, select background app refresh and here you can either turn it off completely or restrict it to Wi-Fi use only and then manually turn it off for apps that you don't need. Doing this will prevent all the apps from running in the background when you are not actively using them, making sure your iPhone battery stays healthier for longer. Location tracking is one of those features that I don't recommend you completely turn off, as it will disable all the necessary features like Find My and other safety trackers. But this feature also consumes a lot of battery if kept unattended. So to manage it effectively, just go to settings, here in privacy and security, Tap on location services and set the apps to never that don't require location tracking. And if some apps do require it, then just make sure to toggle off the precise location. This will conserve battery by limiting unnecessary location tracking when you are not using those apps actively. Now the sixth tip is crucial. Always keep an eye on what apps are draining your iPhone's battery. To check this, just go to settings, then battery. Here you will see a list of apps and their battery usage over the last 24 hours. Or if you want to, you can also see it for the last week as well. And in the process, if you notice any apps that are using unusually high amount of power, just completely uninstall them. Next, let's limit the Bluetooth usage by first forgetting all the devices that you aren't using actively. These can be anything from your AirPods, Bluetooth speaker, smartwatch or even your Mac as well. Now once you do that, just toggle off Bluetooth completely when not needed to prevent constant searching for connection. In my personal experience, this has saved me a surprising amount of battery, especially if you have multiple Bluetooth devices around. 8 on our list is turning off the proximity airdrop feature when you're not using it. This feature keeps your device discoverable for others, which can drain a lot of battery as it constantly searches for nearby devices. So to turn it off, again go to settings, here in general, you will see airdrop, just tap on it, then make sure you toggle off the bring device together feature. Also set receiving to off as well when you are not sharing any files. Next disable live activities for all the apps, like sports scores or ride sharing notifications. To turn it off, you will just have to go to settings, here in face id, scroll down to live activities and toggle it off. Lastly, while haptic feedback adds a tactile feel while typing, it also uses extra battery power due to its constant vibrations. So to turn it off, again go to settings, here in sound and haptics, scroll down and toggle off system haptics. Also make sure you do the same in keyboard feedback section as well. But want to save battery in the process, consider using just the audio feedbacks instead of haptics by keeping sound on and turning off just the vibrations. Now as promised, let's go through some of my personal tips that I use to preserve my iPhone's battery health. Firstly, consider toggling optimized battery charging on in the battery health and charging section to reduce battery aging. Also avoid direct sunlight while charging your device at all times. Also make sure you don't use your iPhone while charging. Using your iPhone while charging can generate heat and also slow down the charging times as well. 
so try letting it charge undisturbed if possible. Also make sure to turn on low power mode whenever needed. Activating this low power mode reduces background apps activity and optimize the performance of your device until you charge it again. And that was it guys for the 10 ways how I save battery life on my iPhone 16 plus some bonus. And now if you have any other ways to do this then feel free to share it with the community in the comment section below. And while you're at it just make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel as well.